So you want to disappear and come back unrecognizable? Well, that's fine. No judgment. You have clicked on the right video because yours truly over here is the queen of self-isolating and coming back with a bang. So I will share a very quick story back in 2020 while we were all locked up, locked down. Um, I actually went through this season unknowingly initially where I kind of took a step back from my usual connections, usual communications, didn't really seek advice on this. And I put myself through my paces with regards to bettering my health, bettering my fitness, and also bettering my relationship with food. Now I say that I've done things unconventionally because usually I would you know, partner up with somebody, speak to someone about it, ask them what they've done and seek counsel, wise counsel at that. But I felt as though this time around, I wanted to do things differently. And at that point in time, there wasn't really this concept of, you know, isolate yourself or disappear and come back unrecognizable. This was back in 2020. But what I found is that during this season, I was genuinely able to tap into the strength that I never even knew I had in terms of being able to hold myself accountable, becoming very self-aware through all the trials and tribulations of trying to lose weight. If you've ever tried to lose weight, you know how tricky the whole process can be. And I feel as though the lessons I learned through that period you know 2020 2021 and by the time i feel as though the results were showing it was around 2021 um the principles and the the lessons i learned through that can really not only help you but it can also give you some insight into how healthy and positive voluntary self-isolation can actually be for you too so if you're curious about or you know you want to know more about my weight loss story or journey i will definitely share that in a separate video the first thing i really want you to think about is are you self-aware as to why you want to go into a period of self-isolation and disappearing. I just want to make sure that when you want to go into this, you essentially want to do it for the right reasons. Don't do it from an egotistic point of view. Maybe you're like, I'm tired of my friends. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of people and family. I just want to be reclusive. I want to lock myself up in a dark room and never see anyone. No, no, I don't want that for any one of you because, you know, we, we are all social creatures, but at the same time, we need to practice a healthy balance of being social and also isolating to be able to really cultivate the strengths that I was talking about earlier and to also figure out what is it that I want because we sometimes take on other people's conditioning other people's thoughts and what have you by being overly not social as such but oversharing and, and listening to other people's things and not actually tapping into who we are and listening into who we are so I want you to just be aware of why you're doing this so perhaps an easy way to guide yourself through this is just taking a pen and paper and start writing out okay what are the things I want to improve about myself have I tried to do this before have I succeeded or have I failed at it what do I think I will gain from this disappearing period or this isolation period what will I gain from this and those questions will start to bring up other questions that you may not have even thought about maybe even I haven't mentioned them just yet and you can start to to see whether you do need a self-isolation period or perhaps you may need guidance or even maybe be able to consult with somebody else to be able to get over or to get exactly what you're trying to attain right so the first step is self-awareness of why you're doing it what you hope to get out of it and if you have tried to do say for example in my case it was weight loss where did i succeed before where did i fail what can i do better so that's the number one thing I want you to really consider. Number two, once you have done that, I want you to devise a plan. Make a plan, make it simple, and you will hear me saying this over and over again in my videos, but it works. Make a plan. If you're somebody who needs a visual board or a vision board, should I say, create a vision board. If you're somebody who's a note taker and you need to use something like Notion and just write down your plan of action, create that. Now, what should be in this plan of action? Essentially, what you want is to have your goal. So if your goal is to maybe, maybe it's no weight loss, maybe it's you want to change companies, right? Write down your goal, figure out your strengths and your weaknesses. Do you need to upskill? Do you need a mentor? Do you need a coach, right? Do you need an executive coach to be able to get you from where you are now to where you need to be? That's your plan. Make it very simple, make it very clear, and also start creating paths and, and routes to how you're going to get to your goal. Because once you have that, it gets it out of your head because you'd be surprised how many thoughts we have that when we don't write, you forget. 
right? So although this is your first brain, use your laptop, use your notepads, use your phone as your second brain to make your plan. I'm a visual person, so I love a good vision board. As I'm talking to you, there's a vision board there from 2022. And on the other side of it, there's a vision board from 2023. And I like to see things so that I can keep them at the forefront of my mind. So before you go through this self-isolation period, make a plan. I do not want you to go through it blindly because I guarantee you, you will isolate and you'll come out on the other side or on the other end not knowing why you did what you did unless you're someone who's very intentional and you're very purposeful and you're very principled in your ways it's very easy to lose your way and I do not want that for you I want this to be a success for you because even in making a plan when I went through my weight loss um journey that's exactly what I did every month I set up a plan I gave myself a new challenge I knew exactly what I was going to do every month something new something challenging and that kept things fresh it doesn't mean that that's what you have to do but depending on what you're trying to attain or achieve making a plan and making it plain and simple will take you further than you've ever been before number three is very important so number one we said self-awareness number two we said make a plan and make it simple number three you are going into a period of self-isolation if you're somebody who is very well connected who is a social butterfly who is an extrovert or someone who just likes to overshare this might be a little bit difficult for you but i want you to refrain from sharing with everyone and anyone that you are in your self-isolation period i am all for healthy communication and open communication but i want you to use a lot of wisdom and discernment to know who to share this with and who not to share this with only because some of these things you have to go through in your own time and in your own way and we are at this stage or I like to think you know people who are watching this video are in their 20s or their early 30s or whatever age you're at we're at a stage where it's important to guard what comes out of our mouth because not to seem cynical but it's not everyone who has the best intention for you and I will say this from experience that in the past where I have shared my plans for example to do certain things and as I'd mentioned the weight loss I'd shared that with certain individuals sometimes it was met with but you're fine you're beautiful you're curvaceous I don't think you should do XYZ and rightly so that's that person's opinion I'm not saying that it's incorrect but I had something I was trying to achieve but by me speaking and saying it to certain individuals that may not have meant anything negative no ill intention but that set a piece of doubt in me that then caused me to start questioning whether the actions and the steps I was taking were actually what I needed to do and what I needed to you know to to progress with so all i would say is remember that phrase loose lips sink ships right and in this case the ship is whatever you're trying to attain be mindful of how much you share and share with wise counsel share with people that you know want to see the best for you want to see you progress and if you are somebody who still enjoys sharing maybe on social media telling everyone in your family what you're trying to attain i just hope and pray that you have a very principled mind and a very strong prayer life if you're a Christian or meditation thing that you do so that you can ensure that you stay on course with what you need to do because this is not about everyone it's not about ego it's what you're trying to attain for yourself to better yourself so when you're going into isolation you do not have to tell the world you can keep it to yourself keep it to a modest group of people and just take action and let the results speak for themselves I'm telling you this from experience, it feels a lot better than prematurely saying it to people only for it to backfire and then now you have to be, yeah, I did that, but it didn't quite work out. No, no, keep it to yourself, okay? Trust me on this one. So one of the things that I feel like it's sometimes missed when people discuss self-isolation or disappearing and becoming the best version of yourself is how to be intentional with the spare time that you actually get out of isolating yourself. Now, when we talk about isolating yourself, you are essentially kind of fasting from your normal lifestyle. You are changing things from how you normally do them to a different way so that you can have more time to yourself, so that you can have time to process your thoughts and so that you can actually craft and design and plan out what you want to achieve and how you're gonna do it and actually have the time to do it. So what actually happens sometimes, and I've seen it in my life and I've seen it in some close relatives' lives that I've tried to do this, is that you have so much spare time and because you've not stuck to your plan and because you haven't put some healthy steps in place for how you're going to feel 
that time, you end up wasting a lot of time. So depending on what you're trying to achieve, make sure that your idle time, because it may become idle time while you're isolating, is filled with things that are productive. Yes, some of it may be relaxation, which is fine because that's possibly why some of you are isolating. You just need a bit more time to yourself. You want to create an environment where you can do healthy and enriching activities such as reading. If you don't like reading, you can try um, registering for an audible or listening to podcasts that are in alignment with what you're trying to attain. You can potentially try and do stuff that's a little bit more creative, maybe sketching, sketching classes, painting classes, maybe just go outside for a walk, perhaps be intentional even with the meditation time that you have, just time to reflect. Fill this time with things that will allow you to not only grow, but to also blossom as an individual. You will feel so much more better for it when you know that that 10 minutes, that five minutes that you had, you spent it doing things that have made you not only become better, but also visually you will start to see yourself glowing from within because you're nourishing yourself, you're nurturing yourself. And you, if you are somebody who has come off or is trying to detach yourself from people pleasing tendencies, from constantly being so selfless and leaving yourself depleted, you will find that self isolating and doing positive things just allows you to feel a bit more perky, a little bit more youthful, a little bit more you. And it's almost like, yep, Stella got her groove back. <laughs> So I want you to consider putting things that are nourishing, that are healthy, that are able to develop you and your character into your roster while you're isolating. Do not fill that idle time with nothingness and things that are essentially taking you back and making you regress instead of progress. Okay. So another thing that I would want you to consider is if you find that you are lacking in motivation, you are lacking in a sense of awareness, you are lacking in knowing where to go, how to progress during this period of time, you can consider looking into a therapist, finding a therapist, finding a coach, whether that's a fitness coach, whether that's a, an a corporate or executive coach, whatever you need, look into getting some form of help, ideally professional help, because these people to a huge degree, I would like to think, want to work with you to see you progress, as opposed to maybe trying to seek help from people that you know and they know how you've always been and they may potentially try to keep you where you are because that's comfortable for them. I'd much rather seek out professional help if the financial um, capacity is there. And if it isn't, if you do have someone that you really trust and you know, in a way, wants you to do better, they always encourage you to do better, then also speak to that person and see whether you can, you know, perhaps speak to them and ask them, how do you find me as a friend, for example? How do you think I could show up better as an individual? Is there anything, you know, from what I'm trying to achieve that you think is impossible because of my past patterns? From those patterns, is there something that you think I can change? Because sometimes I find that some people like to hear it from others in order for it to compute within themselves. And this tends to happen a lot again, and I'll touch on a people pleasing thing and I'll talk about it in a different video where you've constantly been on the receiving end of just like giving, 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 pouring out and never really taking a look at who you are, what you do, what you do best and what you, you need to work on. So you may need to perhaps speak to a professional or speak to somebody who really wants the best for you and they can then give you guidance as to, okay, so you've done all of these things. This is the only thing that you haven't considered. If you do this, then you can get to point A, B, C, and D. And I found it super useful for me when it came to a certain point where I hit a plateau in my fitness and I ended up getting a um, PT, a personal trainer to just get me over the, just get me over that little bit of a, of a hurdle that I had. And after a few months of working with that individual and kind of figuring out a little bit more of like my meal plans and everything like that, I was able to get back and stronger and able to even maintain my goal weight from when I reached it in 2022 up until now in 2024. So I want you to consider if you do need help, please, please, please do not shy away. If any one of you have experienced this self-isolation um, period or season, whether voluntarily or not, and you have your success stories, please share it in the comment section below because I honestly believe sharing is not only caring, but also sharing is a way of us to be able to communicate 
and understand each other better and also feel like we're not as alone as we feel. We're not as alone as it initially feels. You know, as I talk about my weight loss story, I'm sure some people will come comment below and talk about their weight loss stories and how they were able to accomplish it. And that can help somebody else as well. And if you're also maybe looking for, for a new job and there's, there's certain things that you're doing to reframe your mind and, and the way you move and you leave that tip in the comment section for somebody else that could help somebody. I am all about community and us helping each other. So anything that you can do to help your fellow sister on this platform, please, please, please do. And I will highly, highly, highly appreciate it. So without making this video any longer, I will touch on my story in detail in a separate video. But for this particular video, I want to end this here and remind you that, like I said from the very beginning, self-awareness is key. Being aware of who you are, where you want to be, is a first step in anything and in everything, but more so in this self-isolation period. And as we mentioned, having the right people around you is important, but also remember not telling everybody what you're trying to do, because sometimes the most beautiful things come out of us working silently, diligently, and then the fruits of our labor will make the noise for us. You know, I'm very much about that. I'm a very private person for the most part. So I am a huge believer in this. But without further ado, thank you so much for tuning in today. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, I'm sure you can find one somewhere up here. Um, and yeah, come back for more amazing videos. Don't forget, like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.